get ready, get settled in and get in that mould where it's now fight time, you know. It's, we're uh, five days out. It feels weird being at home. You know? I have fought in the UK now for like about four years. Um, so it feels good being in my own house, my own bed. Um, it feels like back in the day, you know, it, feel, it feels good. And I'm looking forward to going and competing for, for the UK fans. I was here before he won the title. And to compare till now, it's a different fighter. He got more speed, more control. You can feel in the sparrings. <laughs> the confidence got more up, of course. And for me, I can't wait to see him fight this Saturday. I'm really excited and I'm pretty sure he will make a statement again because I see people still doubting a little bit, but there is no doubt anymore. <laughs> Going forward, like Leon's got a great set of skills. He's shown that he can wrestle, he shows that he can strike. I mean, he took Kamara Usman down in the first round last time, and Kamara himself said that Leon was relentless in his energy when they were fighting. And I believe we're going to bring more of that this time because he hasn't got the altitude to deal with. I believe Kamara Usman's confidence will be heavily affected by the knockout. Eat, eat fast. Eat. And you know, after a fighter gets knocked out, Khabib himself said it, you're not really the same after that. And coming in, you're going to be a bit cagey, not wanting to engage as much. And I think uh, the result will prove for himself this Saturday night. Let's go! Let's get a camera on this boy. Looking solid, son. <laughs> <laughs> One day you will be look like this. <laughs> <laughs> it, it feels black even more. Yeah. It will show more. You need, need, need to get one of them. <laughs> it's always been my problem. <laughs> this is a six pack as a black man. <laughs> I'm an active curl in Birmingham. Um, I use it a lot when I'm in training camp to help me recover, you know. Um, going to fight week, your body's beat up, so, so it's a perfect time now to get in. Okay. Wanna come out? Don't show much frankage. No, I'm no more man than this. Zoom in on the nipples of me. I'm no, I'm no more bigger man than this. <laughs> it's the cold. Me, I, I hate the cold anyway. I'm a, I'm a tropical man, you know. More an ice bath. You get in, you're wet. You gotta dry off. You gotta. There's a lot going on, you know. But this is get recovery done, then you can go about go about your day. <laughs> Perfect. God damn, that's good. Cool. <laughs> It just the trick, doesn't it? Yeah, 100%. I've been here since uh, uh, Wednesday, I think. Yeah, no, I think it was a good call to come out a bit early, and uh, I'm about to get adjusted properly right now. I mean, the last couple nights have been good. All the boys are here, and so, yeah. We're almost there, man. Almost there. I met Marvin 11, 12 years ago now. Too strong. And he was some 18-year-old kid, came from Italy, a little bit of boxing, not much else. Didn't really know anybody in London um, and just started training. And we were both kind of uh, coming up together. At first, we just thought he was some crazy Italian kid with a, bit, a little bit of boxing. But he just, he's one of those guys where if he gets beaten around, he's like, again, again, again. He doesn't care who you are. <laughs> Yeah, he's always had that physicality. Even when he was um, a scrawny 18-year-old, he just had that muscular endurance and he had that strength about him. So he was always able to kind of push, push, push. So yeah, he's looking, he's looking very good. Marvin loves being in the mix and um, he's got the chin and the physicality to back it up. So he's, he's hard work to deal with for anybody. Justin and Rafael have a similar mindset about having exciting fights, but the difference between them is that I believe Rafa is much more technical. You know, that's why his style, I believe, is going to be more exciting. I believe that Rafa is the best striker in the UFC, uh, best striker in lightweight division. So Justin faced really tough, really good competitions, but he haven't faced anyone like Rafa before. Now in this fight I, I'm not worried because I know this fight going nice because my opponent also he's a he's a love 
make a show, is the love make a blood. Right hand, right hand, right hand, right hand, right hand, all night, baby. I really try to make a, make a show. I really try to people remember me like this. Very good day in the office. And a Saturday, very good day in the kitchen. Because it comes out of nowhere, there's no telegraph. Oh, there's another one. Gaethje's not a guy to go for submissions. Last submission form, 2012. It's the only one in his career. I was actually having very, a lot of fun at this point. I felt like Justin was controlling at this point, and he was getting in his rhythm where he was fighting with chaos, but it was composed chaos. So I was actually really comfortable at this point. I thought we were going to stop him, to be honest with you. But Chandler is just so damn tough. One of the best fights I've ever played. You know, you have to do a job and be a coach. And, but just, you think about it afterwards from a fan standpoint, because I love this sport. And what a, what a fun fight to be involved in. Wow, what a fight! Justin Gaethje and... It's a wild thing with Justin is... Well, he, it's like... When you fight him like that, yeah. When you fight him like that, he, you gotta respect it, yeah. He gotta come get it. Usman down to the mat. I think Usman did not expect this. Oh, no. What the f happened? Well, Joe, he talked about this on the wall. His all grits are pressed. Yeah, he's got to Yeah. And he's playing some good But it, it's like, I'm so, I'm so, like, mentally, like, what's going on? Like, even here, I'm, but I'm so, like, chill the whole time. I was too chill. I was so chill the whole time. I was like, damn, this, no why? in my back. <laughs> yeah, why are we here? Yeah. I'm like, oh. Okay, no, no, you got it. Wake, wake up, wake up. So today we watched the fight, uh, his last fight with Leon, and we've watched this fight plenty of times. It's cool to be able to watch it during fight week, and man, you could see the confidence in his face. I could feel the confidence in the room, and there's a ton of anticipation going on right now, and we're ready to go. I love your left hook. Up a couple. Left. Go. Ah, yep. Yeah. I actually saw something I hadn't seen before. I've, I felt and I kind of noticed, but I didn't really see it until today. But you know, the fight's a fight for me. It's uh, like I said, I don't fight skills. I don't fight there what they're good at here and there. Of course, I'm mindful of it, but I'll try to fight their heart. Good squeeze time. <laughs> yeah, Styles make matchups. I mean, he's an exciting fighter. Um, I'm the most exciting fighter that's ever stepped in there. So, you know, you hate to say it every time, but I think every year I've had fight of the year. So, yeah, this is bound to be that, uh, especially with the, the partner that I have in there, the dance partner. Yeah. Um, I think he's going to bring it. You know, young, hungry, where I was, you know, five years ago. Fool himself like I was five years ago. So I can't wait to serve him some humble pie. It's my fault for being so exciting, but every guy that I fight, I bring the dog out of every single one of them because they know that I'm coming 100%. I give max effort at all times. Once you pull cross. And you know, I'm willing to go through fire. We're going to a dark place on Saturday and planning on drowning him. These guys are both fight on the same card and uh, they've trained together the whole time, but it's been separate, it's been private. And I've slowly been bringing them together. And it's funny, because now we're full on grappling. Like, I didn't let them spar together through training camp, because their, their styles of fighters are so different. And now they're getting to touch and feel each other. And, and, and it's cool, because they're both so dialed in. And I almost got to pull them apart sometimes, you know? It's like uh, seeing these guys peaking at the same time, but engaged mentally. Uh, 